What's going on guys? I am here right now in LA, as you guys can see behind me. We have this like really cool apartment set up for uh, the next couple of days. Christian's here until Friday, I think. And um, I'm gonna be here, basically, it's still kind of tentative, but uh, after I shoot, with Emily because now we can talk about it because it's been announced. So Emily Hayden is our next athlete or our latest athlete, official athlete athlete. And uh, so I'm gonna be shooting her and then Travis. So I'll probably be here around the 10th to the 12th of June. Today's the first. Um, there's a little insight on that. But back here with this Q&A, guys, and I'm really excited because I really love doing Q&As. I don't know why, but like lately, I've just kind of like developed a passion for it because it's just a cool time for you guys to get to know me better and I get to just kind of be completely open with things about my life and my past and my histories and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool. So I just kind of want to just jump right into it. I'm gonna try to speed through it because it's crazy. 600 comments on this Instagram post, like insane, guys. So I really, really appreciate you guys. I really, really appreciate your engagement and you guys just, you know, just, just being you, so dope. So, there we go, gonna start. What sport did you play in high school and what position? I played baseball and football in high school. I played shortstop and a little bit of left field. And then for football, uh, my freshman year, I actually played running back, which was a really, really bad decision. But after that, I kind of transitioned into like my senior year, junior year, stuff like that. I was playing slot receiver. That was a lot of fun, took a lot of hard hits from linebackers. And uh, yeah, it was really good. What are your favorite shoes that you own? Um. Honestly, I'm really into the Prestos and Ultra Boost right now. Those are, those are pretty much it. Um, what is the best way to improve video editing skills for a new YouTuber, editor, vlogger? The best way to improve your skills, man, is just to keep practicing, keep doing it. Just like with anything, the more practice you put into it, the more work you put into it, the better you'll be. Do you even wanna grow? I wanna grow, bro. Favorite motivational quote? Um, let's get it. I don't know. <laughs> Cavs or the Warriors? Warriors for sure. Um, I'm not really a Warriors fan, so people like everyone, everyone's always like, I feel like from last videos, like people assume that I'm like a huge Warrior fan now. I'm not a Warriors fan by any, me by any means, but I am a fan of just like electric basketball and people just that can really put on the show. And it's not just about like, you know, not just playing good basketball, but also being able to be entertaining. And I feel like the Warriors have a really good balance of that. Like it's, it's really entertaining, it's really fun, it's really engaging, and at the same time, it's really good basketball. So. Uh, Warriors for sure, but it's gonna be a great series. It's gonna be crazy. Um, here we go. Is the Alpha League team ever gonna come to Canada? Been waiting for a visit to Toronto. Um, I don't know, guys. Honestly, there's no. We're, we're still working on plans, and honestly, we're building the structure of the company right now, and really trying to make it like. Um, just, just really trying to just build the company in different ways and make it something that we can take more pride in. And so, like different plans are being made. So Canada probably will be on that list. What are your goals before the year end? So right now I'm working on a huge event in August, definitely doing that. I actually have a company that I'm planning on starting. Uh, don't wanna discuss too many details with that guys, but stay tuned. Um, just really building up Alphaly and taking it and putting it in different markets aside from YouTube. That's a really big goal of mine. And just uh, just all, all kinds of different things, guys. Just growing myself as a person more and more and just, just living a life fulfilled for sure. Hit up Roscoe's while you're in LA. I've never been, I gotta go check out Roscoe's Chicken and Wild Woods. I mean, look at me, I'm black, gotta check it out. We love you, Javon, am I the first to do this? Oh, Rice Lifestyle, I think you were, bro. It, basically, I made a post and asking people to go and like comment a specific comment, so I know that, it's, that you're from my YouTube channel so I can go check out your profile. So, I think you were, bro, that's what's up, man. DC or Marvel, I'll answer that in the last Q&A. Marvel for sure. What's one thing do you want to leave in a person's mind after you meet them? I think the best thing for me to be able to leave is like that I am someone who like genuinely cares about like them. You know what I mean? And even if it's just like a really short interaction, I think that if you can show someone that you actually care about them and that you like you value their presence, I think you always like have that bridge there for leading and like leading in later opportunities. So that'd be pretty cool. What camera setup do you use? I use a couple of different cameras, but mainly the A7S Mark II, 5D Mark II, and a Canon 6D, or 5D Mark III and a Canon 6D. 
What video editing program do you use? Adobe Premiere, I use Adobe Everything. So check out Creative, Cl uh, Creative Cloud Suite if you guys are interested. Hmm, if you had to choose between Alphalete or Nike, which one would you choose? Alphalete for sure, Alphalete for life, guys, let's get it. How do you slow down songs in your edits? So basically, whenever I choose music, I basically, I, I like to transpose it a lot, and I'll just kinda, I use Adobe Audition. So that's, I think that answers your question. Favorite black people movie? <laughs> um, hmm, favorite black people movie? Probably like Boys in the Hood or something like that. What flavor of protein do you use? I don't use protein, honestly guys. I just, I literally eat all of my macros, or try to eat all of my macros. Hmm, 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 hmm. What shoes are you gonna buy from Flight Club when you're in LA? He met me and Christian when we were in LA last time. GLH underscore Jerry, bro, that's what's up, man. I remember, I remember, that was really, that was really cool. Um, it was right outside of Flight Club, right? I'm pretty sure that was you. But, I don't know, I'm gonna go check it out. Like I said earlier, I'm really into like, Prestos and Ultra Boost right now, so if I can find any of those, like if I can find the Cream Ultra Boost, I've been looking for those. If I can find those, that'll be life. Um, how do you get your hats? I get my hats, basically I just go to like um, Dick's or or to Academy, stuff like that, and just buy them there, like just at the mall, like I just just like shop. I don't know, I don't, there's no, there's no like special formula for how I find my hats. I literally just go, like, and if I see something cool, I'll grab it. How was your time in Ireland and would you go back? I definitely would go back. Me and Rob had a blast. I definitely wanna go kick it with him some more out there. And I actually wanna go back so that I can explore a little bit more, hang out a little bit more, because really while I was there, I was really just working. So that was the, that was kind of the deal with that. How does it feel being a part of the Alphaly team? It's, it's an amazing experience, not only because like I'm surrounded by a great group of people, but because like we're a company we're doing great things and we're all so young. So it's literally like a, a, a life experience that's, I don't know, it's, it's unparalleled. Like most people, you know, you kind of go to college and then after that, or you just go straight into the workforce and you know, you have a lot of guidance from older people. They kind of give you a lot more instruction. That's not the case with us. We're literally like grinding and sweating and crying and bleeding and just grinding out to try really just build this company. And so it's a really cool thing because we're all just like so young and while, you know, a few of us have a little bit more experience than others. Like, like Danae, she has a lot of work experience. Derek has a lot of work experience. I honestly, I have a lot of life experience, but not a lot of work experience. And so this is something that's really cool for me because it's helping me develop a lot more of like a work ethic and just like, I don't know, it's really good. It's really good, like really building and beneficial for our lives, I think for everyone who's in it. What do you feel like is the biggest problem in our world? Not enough love, for sure. Like too many people worried about other people, hating on other people, too much. It's not enough compassion, you know what I mean? And I mean, there's really not anything you can do about that besides just be who you can be to better your environment and hopefully impact others so that they can do the same. Nothing's off limits. I appreciate that, bro. That's, that's what's up. Just a, just a positive message on there. That's what's up. Can you make an editing tutorial on how you edit your videos? I actually kind of did that a couple days ago, so go and check that video out, guys. Favorite body part to train? Um, lately, I've been trying to develop a love for hidden legs because my legs are really skinny, but honestly, uh, probably chest because that's also something that I've really been trying to build a lot. And I've actually been like getting some serious strength gains in that. Cause, like last year, I couldn't bench 225 to save my life, and now I'm hitting it for like three or four. So that's really, really dope. So cool. Um, height and weight. I am like 5'11 and 0.6789 inches, like really trying to get to six foot. <laughs> but um, weight, I think I'm like 163 to so 165, something like that. What makes you insecure? Um, honestly, I don't want to say, I don't want to sound like cocky or anything like that, but I don't really feel like I have too many insecurities. Um, I. I don't know, I really just try to like put myself in a mindset where I don't compare myself to others and I don't really like focus on like wanting to be like other people when it comes to like a physical sense or anything like that. Like I just, I don't know, I'm just happy with me. I think the biggest thing maybe is that I really don't like my teeth. That's one thing that I really wanna fix because I smile a lot and I, I really would just like love for my teeth to be like perfect. And uh, yeah, I've had braces, never wore my retainer when I was younger, regret it like crazy. So. Yeah, I guess maybe that's kind of along those lines, right? And then the next question is literally any advice for insecure guys? Bro, literally just love yourself, man. Be you, um, do what you do and like try to just, you know, just try to exercise your confidence. Like I was saying, I literally try not to focus on like, like, oh, like he's bigger than me. Uh, I wish I could be big like that. Like, nah, bro, like I'm me, like I'm skinny and I love it, you know what I mean? So literally just like, just like try to focus on really just valuing yourself and like putting that in your head and I think that's gonna reflect in everything that you do. Love every video, I really appreciate that. What did you study in college and do you plan on doing online coaching? I really don't plan on doing any online coaching, honestly. Like, I don't feel like 
I have nearly enough knowledge about like exercise and sports science or anatomy or anything like that to be doing online coaching. Like I'm not that type of person. I've never like put any efforts into studying any of that type of stuff ever. So probably not do any online coaching. Um, I've actually thought about doing like getting my life coaching certification and maybe trying something like that out. I have a degree in communication studies. Um, I love people. I love like people's stories. I love like learning about people. I love different people in different walks of life. So I think something like that, maybe sometime in the future would be really cool. I think I would really, really, really enjoy that and just kind of like helping people like just grow and develop their life. Like I feel like that'd be a really, really cool thing for me. Favorite Mexican dish. Chipotle doesn't count. I think probably, um, what is it called? I don't know. It's, it's like a flank steak and there's like Mexican rice and refried beans and, you know, tortillas, the whole line, the whole nine. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a flank steak. I don't know. What, I don't know what it's called. Sorry. Uh, put some Drake in the edits, please. I got you, bro. I got you. Drizzy is literally the next comment. That's crazy. Um, let's see. What did it take to become an athlete athlete? Just grinding, guys. Like, literally, the people that we've signed and the people that we brought along are people that we see and that we can identify with and the people that, you know, just kind of, like, just fall in line with our vision and everything that we do. So just keep grinding, keep pushing yourself, keep exploring new opportunities, and, um, I don't know, maybe it'll happen. Where did your passion for filming and editing start from? So, whenever I went to college initially, I had a full ride in musical theater, and I was really doing that, I was really driven about that, really passionate about that, and I thought I was gonna be like an actor for the rest of my life and stuff like that, and basically my life took, took a couple turns and I had to stop acting, and like I, I just, I had a void I needed to fill, and so I think I just kinda picked up a camera and went from there, and it was something really good. So, that's kind of what it was. Are you doing a meetup in LA again? Didn't make it to the first one. Motivate me every day. So dope, bro. so so dope, so dope, bro. So cool. Um, I don't know if we're gonna actually have time. Maybe. Stay tuned. We'll check it out. Um, why does Gymshark members feel the need to be so negative towards the Alphalete squad, and will Alphalete grow larger than these other brands? Um. Honestly, man, our focus is not to grow larger than any other company. Our focus is to grow the company as much as we can as an individual and really just push it out. We don't want to be like other companies in other markets or in the same market. We want to be alpha lead, like just that and that alone. And, and in regards to the other comment, I don't feel like they're really negative towards this. I mean, I know there was that little like joke thing not too long ago, but I mean, I'm really not worried about it and I doubt they're worried about it. Maybe they are, I don't know. but. I, like, that's not my focus, so, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about that. Do you or Alphalete plan on coming to Boston in the possible future? Possibly. I don't know. Like I said earlier, we're still working on all the plans and everything like that. Super strength or super speed? Probably super speed. Like, I feel like if you have super speed, you have super strength, because then I can just, like, run through you, like, at 1,000 miles per hour, and that's super strength right there. Next question I'm not going to answer. That's so funny. How old were you? I'm not going to answer that one either. <laughs> Why? I'm not going to answer that one either. What the heck? What's up, guys? Like, chill, chill, chill. Do you believe in ghosts? Have, have you have, do you have any stories? I can't read right now. I don't know what's going on, guys. Um, I don't, I don't know how much I believe in ghosts, but I do believe in like a spiritual, like, dimension, I guess. I don't know how it is. Like, I do believe in afterlife and stuff like that. So, I, but I don't know how I feel about ghosts, honestly. I don't, I don't know about all that. Um, what inspired you to start vlogging? All my friends, Nikki, Christian, Tim, everyone around me, they kind of just like pushed me into it. And it's been something that, that really has given me a lot of value in my life because like I told you guys, I, I literally like, I missed acting and entertainment and stuff like that for so long. So to be able to like kind of, just like, just even just to be able to pick up a camera, it's kind of therapeutic to me. And it's really cool for me to just be able to talk to you guys. Javon, back at it being ashy. I guess I was ashy in the picture. Dang, I'll get some lotion, my bad, I'm sorry. Um. Task. What's your dream car? I don't really, I mean, huh. my goal car right now is Cadillac Escalade. And so we're gonna make that goal happen. But I don't know if I really have like a dream car. Like there's nothing I've always been like, oh, we really wanna have that car when I'm, like when I grow up, stuff like that. Like I've never really had anything like that. So I don't know guys, I'm gonna skip down a little bit cause there's so many questions and I feel like this Q and A has already been like so, so, so long. Do girls or guys ever send you naked pics on Snapchat since you probably get so many? That's so funny. Honestly, yes, both. And I try, well, I mean, I can't do anything about it, honestly. Like, I don't know. But yeah, um, any tips on being creative and original? Just, just 
the more you just figure out who you are as yourself, I feel like that's gonna establish you as an individual. And I think creativity is definitely something that can be explored and something that can be um, developed. And so if you just continue to just keep an open mind, look at other things, try to find inspiration from life, and even just like, you know, the small things, like looking at an old lady walking down the street with her cane, like what, what creatively can you find and be inspired by from that? Like maybe you can develop a story for her life or if you could do anything, just try to keep an open mind and just kind of constantly be pursuing creativity and I think you will be. Um, powerlifting or bodybuilding? Um, I've never tried powerlifting, so I don't really know, but I think sports performance over both of those, honestly. How many watches do you have? Not sure, maybe about five or six? Not too many, not too many. Um, how would you go about starting either a clothing line or a supplement line? Um, I always tell people before you start something, like don't do it for money first of all find your why that's, that's what people get behind they don't get behind your how or your what you're selling they get behind your why they get behind the reasoning of what is going on are you doing something that's innovative and, and contributing something to mankind or to their lives or just making you know like overall making their quality of life better or you're just doing something just for money because ultimately if it's just for money it's never gonna it's never gonna fulfill you and it's never gonna succeed to the extent that it would if you're doing it because of your why so that's my best advice is just figure out your why um bro have have you ever explored any other religion? Not really. I, I think I've always found my my peace and my strength in Christianity. So that's, I mean, there's no reason to leave. <laughs> like, there's really no reason to leave for me. Can we collab? Let's get it, bro. Irvin and Zora Fitness. Come to the gym, bro. We'll do some work. I'm down. Let's get it. Uh, pancakes or waffles? Belgian waffles or IHOP pancakes. Those are, uh, yeah, that's it. Could you ever see yourself living outside of the US? For sure, I don't know where yet, but for sure. I think if there was like, if there was an island somewhere that had weather like California, we're there, like all day, that'd be legit. But most islands are really humid and I don't really like humidity, so I'm not sure. We'll see though, gotta keep exploring life, you know? Um, 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 um. Has anything or anyone helped or inspired the visual sense that you have in your videos? That's a really good question. Dang, that's a good question. That's tight. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I just like like I was talking about earlier. I just really try to keep an open mind, and so like I literally like I try like literally I'll, I'll literally be sitting on the couch some day some days, and I'll be like, okay, what can you look around the room to inspire you? Like, what can you what can you think about? Or like when I meet someone, I talked to you guys about this before, but like when I meet someone, I always try to think about like what's one thing that I really like about this person. Sometimes I'll compliment them on, them, sometimes I don't, but like literally mentally, every single time I meet someone, I try to focus on like what's one thing that I really like about this person. And so I think that um like just doing stuff like that will always like kind of be able to inspire you in different areas in life because you'll always just like you'll find value and find like things that you like about different things all the time it's a really cool thing i've really like kind of like loved doing that like the past few years when's alvely coming to hawaii man i would love that that'd be so sick i've never been to hawaii that'd be tight and i love the islands so that'd be really sick really really sick how many pairs of sneakers do you have i don't know um i don't know a lot a lot i've kind of become a sneakerhead last couple um last couple of months has been really cool. So, um, what was that place called in LA? I was just talking about it. I can't remember the name of it. You know what I'm talking about. You're probably saying it right now and I still can't remember it. Um, Flight Club. I'll probably be going there soon. So, here we go. I'm almost to the end, guys. There's literally like, there's like 10 more questions and I'm gonna answer probably like four. So, what's your favorite clothing brand? Come on, bro. Alpha Lee. You know, we're getting it and we're building it up. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming. It's gonna be really cool. But I think it goes Alpha Lee, Lulu, Nike, I think. Yeah, I really don't really wear like normal clothes too often. So yeah, for sure. Um, here we go, here we go. What are your family and relationship goals for the next five years? Still focusing on your career, or are you someone that's very excited about coming a husband and a father? Both, honestly. Right now, I really am trying to build build myself as a person so that I could have a successful life as a husband and a father. So basically what that means is right now, I'm really trying to focus on like building my career, focusing on building a sense of stability so that later in life I can have the opportunities. Like I don't wanna be the type of dad where like I have to be like, sorry son, can't come to your game, gotta work. You know what I mean? I don't wanna be that type of person. I wanna be the type of person that's just like, let's get this handled, we'll take care of it. I can be confident that it's gonna be taken care of and I can go and like yell my lungs out at my son's game or recital or whatever it is. Um, yeah, so. 
Both, both for sure. Um, what we got? Serious question, will you marry me? I mean, maybe, I'm just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm big on goals and dreams, so I'm wondering, what are your biggest goals and dreams within fitness and outside of fitness? So, I think one of my biggest goals right now in fitness, like obviously I'm trying to build my physique right now a lot, and I'm really trying to like set a foundation for myself, but I do realize that I'm losing a lot of mobility, I'm losing a lot of just like performance qualities because of all the, all the lifting and like bodybuilding per se. And so I think a, a serious goal right now for me is finding the balance and uh, I really wanna start working on my flexibility and really start working, cause like literally guys like throwing a football, throwing a baseball, like it feels so weird to me now, like because my shoulders are so tight and like, I don't, like everything's tight. My lower back, my, my hamstrings, like everything's like so tight and it's all interconnected. So like it feels like my body just feels different. It's really weird. And I don't know if it's getting, cause I'm getting older. It's probably a mix of both, honestly. So. Really just like finding the balance between the two, trying to build my body, but also trying to preserve it to keep it as athletic as possible and as mobile as possible. So that's definitely one thing. Outside of fitness, um, like you guys know and I've talked to you about, I have the event that's going on. So I'm really just trying to focus on building that thing up and um, taking it as far as I possibly can. Building Alphalete as a company and taking it further than anyone has ever imagined that it would. Um, that's definitely something that is a serious priority in my life. And um, a, lot of, a lot of things, guys. There's so many things. Like I told you before, I miss acting so much. I really want to get into that. But I just, I, like there's so many things that I want to do right now, but I don't want to spread myself too thin because then nothing will get done. You know what I mean? And so it's really hard to find the balance because, and then at, at the same time in my head, it's like, well, if you're not practicing something, then you're only losing that skill at the same time. So it's really, really hard to, to really balance everything. And that's why, again, I'm so appreciative of YouTube because I feel like that kind of helps me work on my oratory skills and helps me to like just be someone who's performance and entertainment minded. And that's really cool for me all the while still being like, you know, professional and trying to grow myself as an industry professional and, you know, and, not necessarily in corporate America, but kind of, you know what I mean? And so it's like, I, I'm really like, you guys have no idea like how grateful I am for the position I'm in in life right now because I do not deserve anything whatsoever. It's really cool and I love you guys for it. It's crazy, man. Like it's, it's so crazy whenever I think about it. But yeah, that's gonna conclude this q and I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I thank you for watching and tuning in. It's probably been a long video. I think it's been like 20, 25 minutes. I'm not sure. I've been talking for a while, but Thank you guys for sticking in, and if you sticked in, if you stuck, stick, stick, if you stuck till the, if you stuck to the end, I really appreciate you. Like seriously, that's amazing and so dope. Um, we're gonna get it, guys. Got a lot to do today. I'm about to go. Well, you'll see in the video tomorrow. I don't want to spoil it. I'm about to go do some cool stuff. So I'll see you then. I love you. Let's get it.